How's it going everyone? We are back on our Morrowind at 100% difficulty challenge. And uh, when we left off, we had reported back to Chaos. I'll go with Chaos. Sounds good. Chaos Crusades. And uh, he was giving us a, a little mission um, to accomplish. And uh, yeah, I'm so used to jumping. I was like, why? I, I will listen out, Landex, because I make it quick. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there's, um, we've been uncovering information about the Neverine prophecies, the Neverine cult, the Sixth House, uh, rumors, and, um... Why walk when you can ride? Now, where we're at is, uh, it's gonna be so loud. Oh, good, no sandstorm. Uh, Dayrood! No, uh, <clears throat> um, we have to talk to... A Ashlander, because the Ashlander, uh, it kept saying that this is like, oh, it's all those footsteps that are messing with me. Uh, I kept saying that, the, you know, this is an Ashlander prophecy, there's Ashlander stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, uh, we're going to talk to an Ashlander informant here in Alderun. However, uh, he likes books. So what we need to do is buy him a book for a gift. So, Ashlanders like poetry. I have a few such volumes here. I believe Words of the Wind, Ashland Hymns, and the Five Far Stars around here somewhere. So, Words of the Wind, Ashland Hymns. Ashlands. Let's just do that. Let's see if that's good enough. We might have to come back here and buy a different book. But I hope... I've never... I can't recall if he's ever rejected uh, one of my offers. But yeah, so now i got to find an inn. Which I believe this is it. The Alt Scar Inn. There we go. And uh, he can be hard to find. You can walk up here and be like... You can walk up here and be like, uh, I don't see him. Because those aren't him. And then you can walk down here and be like, I don't see him. Where do I go? And every once in a while... Where's oh. that slave? He looks like Julia. You're not because I'm a racist, and I think all lizards look the same. Uh, here this he is. This better so, be important. There's this like little hidden area down here. You can come find him. Boom. I am Hasur Zensubani. Caliber, you may you bless and be blessed. I do not wish to be rude, but if you have business, speak it, for I am at leisure, and I would prefer to be alone with my thoughts. Business. I see you wish to learn of Ashlanders from me. And what is it that you wish to learn? What are their gift-giving customs? A curious question. A gift is a sign of courtesy. Okay, let's... Boom. Thoughtful gift. Okay. This is a gift for me? I am amazed. A copy of Ashland Hymns. Simple sentiment, simply stated. I gratefully accept your gift. My people have never loved the written word, and I lament their ignorant scorn for such common yet potent magic. I thank you, and I honor your courtesy, Caliber. I would, it would please me to return your courtesy by answering your questions. What would you wish to know about Ashlanders and the Neverine cult? Let's start with Neverine cult. They worship the great Ashcan and Hortator, Nerevar, Moon and Star, who in ages past destroyed the evil, godless dwarves and banished the treacherous Dagath Ur and his foul hosts beneath Red Mountain. The cult is of small consequence in Ashlander worship, and only among the Urshlaku do, do its followers have any influence. Other Ashlanders tribes share the sentiments of the cult, but regard the Neverin prophecies with suspicion and skepticism. Okay, so um, let's talk about the Urshlaku. The Urshlaku are Ashlanders of the northern Ashlands and the west Gash. In the northwest of Vardenfell, Ashkan Sulmatul is the chief and a brave and respected war leader and warrior protector of the Neverine cult. The Urshlaku camp moves with the herds, but usually lies close to the Sea of Ghosts. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so did all that. Let's talk about Ashlander worship. The Ashlander, all Ashlanders in a tribe, young and small, are born into the ancestor cult of their clan. The Neverine cult is different, though. It is a very small cult with only a few wise women with the gift of prophecy and only a few holy warrior heroes who guard and protect the seers. Okay. Um, <clears throat> cool. Cool. Um, Ashlanders. 
there's too much to tell here. Take these notes. I've written here what you should know about the Ashlanders and the Neverend Cult. That was quick. But most of all, if you are visiting a camp, there are things you should know about courtesy and challenges among the Ashlanders. And since you ask about the Neverend Cult, perhaps you'll be interested in my views on the Ashlander foreigners. Uh, because a guiding passion of the Neverend Cult is their hatred of foreigners. Oh, good. <laughs> That's good. Good stuff. All right. Um, and challenges. I mean, I, I kind of do know all this stuff, but we got everything for chaos. All right, Greetings, so greetings, Outlander. Uh, don't I know you from somewhere? You do. We just talked. Um, so believe it or not, that's the quest. Uh, it gets funny if you if you count the number of main quests. Uh, it's broken into three acts. This is Act One, reporting to chaos. Um, and we are like almost, uh, halfway through as far as the number of quests, but the next few quests are significantly difficult. If anything, really everything we've done up to this point equates to maybe two of the quests that are to come. So we make Chaos, a special trip just for you. Chaos has you Same go around, uh, meeting informants, getting information, and now we're getting to the point where uh, we're going to act on that information. So uh, we're going to start going into the Ashlander areas, um, meeting uh, some of the Ashland chiefs. They're going to have us go do some quests, all that good stuff. And so all in all, um, well met. we're just about there uh, to those. So let's see. Thanks for your report, but keep Zane Zubani's notes on the Ashlanders. You'll need them, I'm promising you, and I'm sending you to the Urshlaki camp to speak with Sumatol and Nabani Mesa. But before you go, I think it might be time to tell you what's going on. So here's the reveal. You can hear my chairs because it's made of pleather. The Emperor and his advisors think you have the appearance of of meeting the conditions, I don't know why I struggled with that word, having kind of a head issue, conditions of the Neverin prophecies. That's why you were pulled out of the prison on His Majesty's authority and sent to me, so you could satisfy the conditions of the Neverin prophecies and become the Neverin. Here, this is a decoded copy of the coded package you gave me when you arrived. Read it later, it should explain everything. As you'll see in the decoded message, the Emperor and his counselor say that you have the appearance of satisfying the conditions of the prophecy. Do you really satisfy the prophecy? Are you really the prophesied Neverin? At first, I thought we were just supposed to create a persuasive imposter. Now I don't know what to think. But I am sure of one thing. This is not just primitive superstition. And we will treat it seriously, just as His Majesty commands. So... Zane Zubani <clears throat> says Sumatul and Nabani Mesa at Urshlaku camp are the heads of the Neverin cult, so I'm sending you to speak with them. Tell them your story and have them test you against the Neverin prophecies. As heads of the Neverin cult, they can best judge whether you satisfy the prophecies. When you've spoken with them, report back to me. Here's 200 drakes for your expenses and pick up essential supplies at Fort Moonmoth. Um, okay, so real quick. Before you go to Urshlaku camp, see... Simodis Vunis at and Cruelius Potanian, po, Pontanian at Fort Moonmoth. I've asked them to put aside some potions and scrolls for you, courtesy of the Emperor. I'm in particular. You'll want the cure potions. I hear the blight is very bad up north. And use the divine intervention scroll if you find your over, you're in over your head. It will get you safe to an Imperial cult shrine where you can heal, refit, and try again. So, um, let you guys know what's going on here is, uh, this prophecy of the Neverine, who's going to overthrow the false gods, uh, the tribunal, Amalasia, Sobasil, so, and uh, Vivek, as named after Vivek City. Uh, he, uh, the Emperor pulled us out of prison and sent us here to report to Chaos, the head of the Blades, his spy network, uh, and personal guards, to... Um, to, yeah, check out these prophecies. So after learning a lot about the prophecies, it seems like we are the Neverine. We are the reincarnation of Saint Nerevar. And uh, so we're going to see if we can fulfill these prophecies. 
Um, as an added bonus, the reason why the Emperor would be so interested in this is because uh, we have an uneasy peace with the uh, Dark Elves, um, but their god, Vivek, and their other gods, Sothisil and Amalexia, uh, are potentially um, problematic for us. Uh, they... I'm looking for... looking for the uh, Imperial Cult Shrine. Is this him? This is him. Uh, essential supplies. Uh, thank you. He gave me a bunch of supplies. And who's the other guy? Nope, not you. Um, and so, yeah, if we fulfill the prophecy, uh, then that means we kill uh, or at least take away the godhood <clears throat> of um, Vivek Sothisil and Amalexia, which is very good business for the Empire. So, um... Also, the Emperor has a mind for prophecy, too, but I'm sure it's actually more about uh, his campaigning war. So, uh, let me see here. Topics. Samudis Venice. Couldn't remember his name. I thought I would, but it's not necessarily an easy name. Sumudis Vanis Arla. You're I'm out. busy, so if you will excuse I'm me. I'm busy too. Okay. Sumudis, Sumudis, Sumudis Vanis. We'll find him and then we'll end the episode. And when we pick up next time, uh, we will be heading over to the Ursh Alaku camp. Sumudis <laughs> Vanis. I've already checked you guys. Oh, I think there's a little shrine in here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Smoothest Venus. I'm sorry. Uh, essential supplies. Thank you for the goods. And let's head back to Balmora. I so. only have a few moments. So yeah. Anyways, uh, I think I'm gonna. I haven't uploaded these yet. Of course, I'm recording. You know, in real life because I'm recording them now. Um, I think I'm gonna name them after the episodes. Uh, I mean, I think I'm going to name each episode after the quest it's doing, so that way people can use these, because they're quick in 10 minutes, and we kind of get right to it with very little, uh, very little fanfare, um, and we, we just kind of complete the quests as needed. Um, I think I'll probably name these, after, these episodes after the quests we're doing, that way people can uh, easily also use this kind of as a, as a tutorial, so... Uh, if you end up playing this game, just refer back to these videos for quick ways to do the quests. Um, all right. Well, uh, I've had fun. I hope you guys have too. Uh, you have a great week. <laughs>